Hello! I did not get to vlog yesterday just because I didn't really do anything. I worked from home and I watched some anime and that was it. <clears throat> but today, I have some Christmas things that I get to film finally. My mom and my brother put up some decorations in our living room already. The tree is up, it has the lights. So I'm waiting for Nate so we can decorate the tree and I'm gonna do my usual play some Christmas music, bake some cookies and make some hot chocolate. So I'm so excited to finally have some Christmas things in today's Vlogmas. I think that I am going to put on a Christmas sweater for it just to feel extra festive because I am done up. I had to take a few photos earlier for a brand so I did my hair and makeup and everything. Um, so yeah, just to make this last and not put it to total waste after that, I'm gonna put on my Christmas sweater and take some photos, decorate the tree, but I feel like it's gonna get too hot, so I might change back into this. We shall see. But yeah, I cannot wait to start filming. <laughs> That is a cat in the hat ornament right from the Scholastic Book Fair. I'm working so hard. Yeah, more like on the bottom. It doesn't look even. Yeah, move that candy cane like to the front area. Yeah, uh, no, perfect, exquisite. Going all out with the cookies today. So we've got the Christmas tree and the snowman and the reindeer and I'm baking all of them because that's what my mom wants right now. It's like sugary Play-Doh. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, uh huh? Is no Merry Christmas for me. He's too tall to fit in the same frame as me. But on today's expedition, we're going to Costco. It's really foggy. Today's mask of the day. Well, um, safe to say that I had anxiety the entire time I was in there. Props to Nate because I was literally like shaking and like I couldn't walk properly around people because I was like just so anxious in there. But this guy was a trooper in helping me feel better. Yes. I deserve McDonald's. 
I'm in H Mart by myself right now because I ordered fries from McDonald's, but they forgot it and they only got Nate's order, so I'm getting food for myself. From H Mart, I ended up just getting these two. I got a salad with salmon sashimi, and it was only $7.99, so that was really good. Um, and then I got this triangle kimbap, which is basically Korean onigiri, and I love um, the Korean triangle kimbap because it's really flavorful. They use a lot of sesame oil um, either to season the rice or the filling. So yeah, I'm happy with this. I am better off with this than McDonald's fries anyway. Look how much salmon there is in this. What value. And then I think this is just like a gochujang sauce that I'm excited to put on. A few weeks ago, I designed some Christmas postcards to send to some of my Harry Potter friends. <gasps> Oh my gosh, and here they are. <gasps> Do you guys see that? Oh my gosh. Okay, the first thing I see is that I need to clean my lens because this isn't showing up really sharp. But look at that shine. Wow. So I designed this postcard um, and it has the mirror of Erised from Harry Potter and Hogwarts. And I opted just for a postcard, so it's matte on the back with a simple parchment looking, um, I guess, panel here for me to write on. And then the front is a matte material, um, and it's so nice, wow. This is so much more than I expected, honestly, like, they got all the details down at the printing place that I order from. Amazing! I'm so happy with this! I'm gonna start writing cards now and hopefully send them out by tomorrow night because I have some going out to Japan and some places in Europe and other places in Asia, just all around US as well, so that's gonna take a while. Wow, these are so nice! I am so happy with how they turned out!
I just finished up sealing some cards here so basically what I did is I wrote their name and their Instagram handle on the front of the envelope with a little Christmas tree doodle and then I got this kind of like rope or twine and this one is green for this particular friend because he's a Slytherin and to match that I also put stars here they're just stickers to match his house as well and then the seal goes right over the envelope and I did pretty okay with this one. Um, some other ones didn't turn out as well, but I think they're still really cool. And yeah, I'm going to put these into mailer envelopes so this whole packaging situation gets protected. And I might throw like something in between here, we'll see. I just finished packing all of the cards I'm sending out. Um, so as you guys saw, I put them in these black envelopes first. Uh, these are different ones. These aren't the Harry Potter ones. But I put them in here first, um, did a little fancy, I guess, almost owl-like packaging with the string and the wax seal. So extra, but I did that to each card. And then just to protect that and not to get like those um, regular stamps on it for shipping. I put them in these regular brown envelopes and I made my own labels. So for the return one, I put the Owl Post logo on it, which has my address. And then I made an Owl Post logo for the recipient's address. So as you can see, I have, I think I have 20 in total. I've got a ton to send to the States. And then I have a few for Canada and some international ones. Um, and then these two aren't being mailed out, but I worked on them. This is for Laura and this is for Taylor. I know you guys are watching, so these are going to go in your gifts. I hope you like them because I, I just customized everything this year. So yeah, I'm pretty tired. It's like pretty much one in the morning. So I am going to do some extra work, not stay up too late hopefully because I need to get to the post office and send these out in the middle of my work day tomorrow <sighs> okay good night I just finished editing that entire video I know I said I was gonna go to sleep but I thought I would do it tonight because I don't think I'm gonna vlog for the rest of this week um, it's basically Friday now I have Saturday Sunday but one I don't have anything planned for the weekend and two you could probably tell throughout this entire vlog I've looked very tired and I've had a very tiring week um, both physically and mentally and I really want to focus on that this weekend I don't really want to think about vlogging anything or having to edit this by the end of the week so I'm just gonna end it here I do have a really cool vlog coming out for the next vlogmas week um, but yeah stay tuned for that and yeah I am um, I'm gonna take care of myself now so Good night for real.